These two Chicago neighborhoods, Bucktown and Roscoe Village, are sick of the city's rising crime. So they're taking security measures to their own. Today in Hour 18, we're taking a look at what those neighborhoods are doing. We have live team coverage with reporters in Bucktown and Roscoe Village. We start with Chris Ty in Bucktown, where they are, are not waiting for police to beef up patrols. Chris. Erica and Brad, they have seemingly tried it all around here to push back on violence. They have tried ring cameras. They have tried pressuring CPD. They have done neighborhood watch programs. Now they're opening their wallets in some big and inventive ways, possibly as early as tonight. The first private security cruisers patrolling the streets around here. Time and again, ring cameras put this crisis into high def focus. CPD offering alert after community alert on armed robberies and vehicular hijackings in Bucktown. He has the gun point at me and saying that move back. Despite begging for beefed up police patrols, Bucktown's gotten bubkis, they say. I could certainly see why a residential group would feel they have to take action now. So how did they get these beefed up patrols inside this rectangle of Chicago's northwest side? Instead of opening their mouths to complain, they're opening their wallets. That it definitely eliminates or mitigates threats and impacts. Downers Grove-based security company P4 will patrol alongside Chicago police cruisers as this rolls out. Sources helping fund the effort tell CBS2 News the patrol will run 10 to 12 hours daily. And when you add in insurance, the marked car, and operational costs, it's an annual $390,000 in services paid out of pocket by private Bucktown donors. We've all been pushing and we haven't really been receiving the results we're looking for, so I could understand why they would turn to this uh, particular strategy. The head of the local Chamber of Commerce says they're continuing to collect signatures for additional police patrols around here. In a statement to CBS2, P4 says only off-duty police officers are employed by P4 and will be handling patrols. Off-duty officers will be present to observe and report they do not have arrest powers, and if a crime is witnessed, they're directed to call 911 immediately. The private security company says they work in concert with CPD, but Mayor Lightfoot late today pushing back hard on this concept. Watch. I certainly uh, recognize and respect um, the desire of some of these businesses to have um, security that's happening really all across the country, particularly in light of uh, what cities like Chicago have been experiencing. But patrolling our streets is the sole province of the Chicago Police Department. Now, she said businesses, this is principally a residential effort. The mayor saying she needs to learn more about this effort. We reached out to CPD for their thoughts on it. They did not get back to us. But, Erica, we are told one of the first people to work these cruisers is said to be a retired 20-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department. All right. Chris Ty, thank you.